my name is Orla Martin and I'm a Future Networks Engineer at Northern Ireland Electricity Networks. At the minute in Northern Ireland around 50% of our supply is generated from renewable sources and the network wasn't designed to facilitate these bi-directional power flows. We either have to invest quite heavily to, to upgrade or we can look at innovative solutions that, that help us utilise the, the existing assets better. The Smart Asset Monitoring Project, we're installing sensors on the overhead line to give us more accurate real-time information on the loading of the line and the temperature. So we're using these sensors to determine what the real-time rating of the line can be. And that allows us to fair investing in the network. Part of our vision is to be um, future focused. We see that the, the electricity network has a crucial part to play in, in delivering targets, whether that be um, renewable energy targets or whether that be carbon targets um, out to 2030 and even right out to 2050. And so rather than always having to build new lines and upgrade infrastructure on the network, like we are looking to do, to do smarter things. For this project where we're looking to monitor and, and get the most out of our existing overhead lines, we were looking for um, sensors that we could deploy on existing overhead lines um, with minimal disruption to customers um, and through, through a procurement process then we, we're now working with Line Vision to, to use their equipment and to gather data from, from the overhead lines and to bring that back to enable us to get the most out of those overhead lines. By monitoring and measuring the exact position of the wires, we can uh, give a very accurate information about the sag and clearance of each of the wire and also conductor temperature, which is uh, 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 referring to the sag. Sensors and increased visibility of the network is crucial. As more and more um, renewable generation and low carbon technologies connect to the network, that will be tends to be distributed widely. It's crucial that we know where that is, that we can identify if there's any constraints, and then we can take action to manage those constraints. We have to ensure that we can facilitate the decarbonisation of you know, the heat and transport sector. It's a really exciting time in the energy industry and it's one that Northern Ireland with its unique characteristics can, can really be a leader on.